Uh, so in this screen capture, we're going to add, create a new form for the employees table. I'll select employees, go to the create menu and click form. Access will create the form. The first draft is what we would call not user friendly and we want to make it user friendly. The reason it's not is because the size of the fields are not appropriate for the data. So for example, employee ID has two rows in its very large field for a very small piece of information. It's the same size as the title. Further, things like the address, Washington Postal Code USA, are not lined up to look like an address to make it easy for a person that doesn't really know access to do data entry. So all you want to do is resize and move these around so that it becomes user friendly. We could do that in design view. The one weird thing is they tend to stick together when, when created this way. So when I try to resize something, it will usually resize some other things. So to separate each of the controls, all the things in a form are called controls, we're going to remove layout. Removing layout has us clicking here on this little plus thing, which selects all controls. And then we'll come over to one of the controls and right click and select layout. Remove layout. Now they are separate objects. I will click away, click on an object, and now I can resize that one object independently and I can click on the edge of the object and move it. So that was trick one, remove layout. Trick two is look as I move the, as I move the text box that displays the employee ID information, the label to the left of it moves at the same time. But sometimes I want to move those independently. Then I will click on the dark gray box in the upper left of the control and it will move independently so I can put the label on top of the text box. Notice I'm trying really hard to use correct access terminology. So a label is something that simply displays characters on the screen to clarify information. So this employee ID I might put a space in that because it's a label and when read by a human being, they like to see spaces. However, the box below it is a text box and I wanna make sure I do not edit that because it is referencing the field name in the table. And if I edit that box, it won't know what field to display there. Now the changes we just made can be viewed in uh, form view, which displays the data. And you'll see the employee ID label where I put the space has the space character, but the employee ID text box actually looks in the table and displays number one for the first employee. Down at the bottom of this, I can cycle through. All right then, so that is creating a form and using remove layout.